My name is Kyle, my, um, and I am eight years old. Why aren't hurricanes here, and why are they in like Florida or something like that? Hi, this is Sarah Griffin, an associate researcher at the Space Science and Engineering Center here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Hurricanes form near Florida and not uh, up here in Wisconsin because hurricanes need two main things to actually develop. First off, they need a lot of water, which we can't get when we're landlocked in Wisconsin. Um, they also need to be, they form near the tropics because they need a lot of sunlight. And what the sun does is the sun heats the water and that water starts evaporating. As the water evaporates, it cools into clouds, which we do get here in Wisconsin. However, we don't get enough clouds to form a hurricane. As the water evaporates, a hurricane will then get its energy from the clouds. The second thing a hurricane needs is very low vertical wind shear. And when we say vertical wind shear, what we mean is that the wind at the surface needs to be about the same speed as the wind at, uh, near the upper parts of the atmosphere. If the wind is changing a lot with elevation and it's getting stronger as it gets uh, higher in the atmosphere, hurricanes can't form because they end up getting sheared. Pretty much what happens is a wind will blow the top off the clouds and a hurricane can't develop and get its spin. This year we had a hurricane hit Florida, a hurricane hit Texas, and a hurricane hit Puerto Rico. Uh, the Western Pacific, near Japan and China, gets a lot of hurricanes as well. There they're not referred to as hurricanes, we refer to them as the generic tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclones also form in the southern hemisphere. Tropical cyclones in the southern hemisphere are fun because instead of in the northern hemisphere, where if you look at them they're turning counterclockwise, so they're going backwards around the clock, in the southern hemisphere, they actually turn clockwise. So they're following a normal clock hand around the clock. While we don't get hurricanes here in Wisconsin, we can still feel the effects of hurricanes. Um, once a hurricane makes landfall, like Irma did in Florida, uh, the effects can be far-reaching and they can extend up the east coast. Um, we can get some significant rainfall from hurricanes, even though they're not technically hurricanes. Another interesting thing about hurricanes, especially the ones that don't hit land, they will eventually undergo something called extratropical transition, which pretty much means that your hurricane uh, no longer has a warm core that defines a hurricane, but it's still a very strong windstorm. This recently happened with Hurricane Ophelia, which just hit the, uh, the Ireland and the United Kingdom. Ophelia was a Category 3 hurricane, so it was a major hurricane with winds over 100 miles per hour, underwent this sort of transition, and then still hit Ireland with winds at about 80 miles per hour. So we can get effects of hurricanes even farther north from where hurricanes form.